hey what's up guys welcome to another video today on 365 web x and today i want to show you something very important so i'll be showing you how to tweak your computer to get it working faster yes um a lot of you will would agree with me that um you know um get you know having a slow system having a slow computer or working on a slow computer sucks and most of the time you are you you, you have lots of time to to wait or to accomplish or to get things done when you can actually get it done faster uh, when your computer is working at a much higher speed and so today without too much of doing i mean i mean talking <laughs> i said doing without too much of uh, talking let's jump straight into the video uh where i show you how to so the first thing you want to do i want to do here is right click here open my tax manager uh better still you can right cl click on your start uh, button there and you can go to tax manager here uh, okay <coughs> oh sorry or better still you can uh, you know click on the start uh, button right there and now uh, say start uh, manager tax sorry let's say start tax task manager right there so it's opened and that is how you open tax manager okay you get it. so right here i've not opened any application and i'm only using okay I guess I should close it okay let me close my browser right here and you can see how much my browser is taking so I'm going to close that um, okay, close. I'm not using this this is this I'm going to close this one okay uh, let me leave this one down here uh, and I will show you how to get that fixed immediately. Uh, so right here you can see after closing my browser, this is how my computer is CPU is um, you know uh, performing. Okay, and this is my memory. How much of the memory my computer has been used without having to open? Okay, let me close this as well. So um, you can see right there excuse it so the first thing you want to do is you go to performance and you see the stats at which your computer is, is um, performing you know it's just seeing a broader view of these right here so you can see it right here and so what you want to do is we are going to go to start up so the first thing that I want to do here you can enable and disable uh, application that starts up automatically okay so what you want to do is i want to disable this just right click disable um what program is this disable skype i don't use skype it's disabled uh spotify disabled video disabled window security notification well i'm going to leave that open and this one here disabled um maybe this one too oh no disabled this one disabled i'm going to leave this off because i use it a lot so you just go ahead and disable whatever you don't use whatever applications you don't use use often uh, or you don't need so this one i'm going to leave it there and i'm going to disable this one um, okay that's pretty much that the first step and now uh we are going to close this okay um the next thing you want to do is um uh, go to your settings 
so I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go to settings so um, I'm going to type in here um, I'm going to click on apps and right here you can see I have sorry so sorry so right here you can see I have all these applications okay right here and if I click on this one for example I can uninstall it um, so um, I'm going to look for the ones so you just go look for the ones that you don't need and game bar okay I used I don't use this guy so I'm going to save eight kilobytes of uh, my my computer um okay so okay photo creation i don't use this I'm going to save and that says 14 megabytes on my computer and then let's go down I don't use this, so I'm going to uninstall it. Some people will say you should, uh, we suggest that you disable it instead of uninstalling it by messaging. Okay. Edge update. Okay. Don't use update. Now, mind you, some of these applications are default uh, applications. So, <coughs> at times removing them, there are some things you need to do to get them removed. How about this? I don't need this to remove it. How about this? Remove. Paint. I don't make use of this. Remove it. Skype. I don't make use of Skype on my computer. So I'm going to remove it. Um, okay, Spotify. I don't make use of Spotify. Oh, even Sketch. I don't make use of this. Weather, I don't make use of weather. Web media extension. Web media extension. Don't make use of this. And this also. Uh, okay. Because my computer is not that uh, this laptop, this very laptop, is not for gaming or some things. So I, I don't see why I should be keeping this one removed. All this unnecessary. Um, applications. So default. So from here, um, we uh, you can see that three D viewer. Okay, I'm going to that that that. I just wanted to show you what you can actually do right here under applications and uh, features. So I'm going to go down to default applications, and this right here, I don't need to map. Okay, so. I'm going to actually show you how you can actually, you know, uh, also remove some of those applications. So, um, offline applications. 
capacity is too high. Right, so um, maps update disabled that this one. So apps for websites where well, disable this and disable this video playback. Also leave it the way it is. Optimize for battery. Well, start up. Yes, this is where. Um, the, so you can see uh, all the applications we disabled from our tax uh, manager is showing right here. Okay, these are the stats of applications. Okay, so we need to go back. And another thing I want to show us is we are going to go to. Um, so another thing you want to do is you want to hit your um start uh bar there and type in um updates and what you want to click on is not this one but instead windows update settings click on that um, you can see I have something downloading here, updates downloading here. So what you want to do is go to optimize uh, right here and allow downloads from other PCs. Um, take this down. Okay, don't allow. And of course, you can go to say, you know this one right here and uh, but. Uh, we don't want that. So uh, go down to Windows Security. Okay, down to backups. Okay, we don't have backups there. Uh, troubleshoot. So here is if you want to troubleshoot stuff, and then um, this one. Find my device is on. Well, I would don't want to turn this on. Yes, it's off actually. It's off. Okay, so you have to turn that off. And I actually like uh, where this brought us. Okay, so you can see that I've disabled all these. Okay, uh, applications right here. And of course, you should also go ahead and disable, uh, allow applications to access your location, disable that. A location, set location by default, clear the data, and um, okay. Um, set developers, go ahead and disable this, enable device port, uh, portal, disable that, device discovery, disable that. Um, by Explorer, change settings to show file extension, change settings to show hidden and system files, and all of that. So, leave this the way it is. A remote desktop, uh, blah blah blah. Show okay. This is if you are a developer and you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and mess up, mess with that, or if not, leave it the way it is. And um, window inside program. So here is if you want to join the window that program. So um, that is it. And then uh, the last thing I would want to show you is working on your. I've not activated my my windows you can see it right there so the last thing i would want to show you is um working on your services okay your windows services and working on windows services is you can just hit this and type services hit that and one thing i would say about windows services is it is difficult to you know 
if you are not a computer um, uh, expert or you're not computer savvy, you wouldn't know what services is for part. And you can see there are a bunch of um, services running at the background right here. And if you're not, uh, you know, uh, you don't know uh, so much about computer, you're a novice, you're just coming in to the computer world, or you're just, you just use computer, you wouldn't know what is for what right here. And so to help you understand this, I've, um, I've, I have um, um, a software that allows you to disable unnecessary um, services without having to worry about which is going to cause harm. So I have this uh, ISO here. It is called ISO. Okay, Easy Sister Services Optimization. So that is what it is about. And right here, I'm going to uh, click on this one. So you can download ISO. You can go to your browser and download ISO. So I'm going to click on this one. And uh, I'm going to show you something. Actually, my computer is very slow, so I don't have to mind. Absolutely patient with me. So, um, so you just type in is so is sorry is the window sorry services services optimizer so right here and. So this is the one you want to download. Okay. And currently it's on version 1.2. So this is here. Um so you just click right here and it downloads. I'm not going to download because I've already done that. So oh <laughs> it's downloaded. So you download and okay, let me just show you what to do. Uh, extract this to your maybe wherever desktop of course you can see that i have already and once you've done that you get these files here don't worry about this so once you double click on that to open this is what you do get okay so right here you can see the service name the display name the status and the apply type so the So you can see right here that some of these services okay that are in red are the ones that are not running um meaning they are not necessary okay they are not supposed to be running but unfortunately um they run um in your computer so um the ones on green are actually the ones that are running okay so you can see right here so whichever one a service that you think is running on your computer but you don't need you can actually go ahead and for example if i put this one here and of course you can see that it's actually this one here um let me just show you okay let me show you how properly show you how this works so if say i wanted to disable let's say this service that is running here uh, all i just need to do is up and you can see as you can see it stopped okay that stopped and uh, automatically of course it's set on the other fight that is set on automatic so automatically it's it's what so i don't know um Okay, I, I don't know why some of the services as I set that way. Okay, you can see the service here. It's saying that it's not, it does not exist. 
and it's supposed to be working manually and this also is working manually and all that so this is how and once you have selected which ones you want to stop uh you just go ahead and of course uh, sorry the ones you want to start for example let me go from top click on this one right here and uh, i can just instead of just clicking here i can click start and of course you can see it started but i'm going to stop it yeah. meaning what i can do is click here and you can see it's and i can also uh stop it see stop and right here i can actually if i finished um if i'm done with selecting which services I want to either enable or disable I can actually go ahead and uh, you know apply the settings that I've actually uh, applied to each one of them so for example I can say um, stop the service and um, this should be now what I did to get this window off is double click um, on this and uh, say manual or disable and something here okay so i'm going to cancel this um so uh here you can actually add a service okay if you have a service that you want to add manually you can go ahead and click here and add such service and of course you indicate whether uh, if you if, uh, if you start automatically or manually you disable it i just put it and of course you can remove the service so clicking on this one i can hit here and it's removed okay for example this one that says that is in grey that is not existing i can remove that you can see it it's removed it's removed and also settings um okay okay this is i don't i look i don't know much about this okay i just discovered the service and i think it works so i'm going to refresh this um here you so settings and you can see uh, your uh, services uh panel it's here and if I expand this expand this okay you can see so um the bottom line is you have few services running okay uh just the ones that you need uh, running so if the you open this and you discover everything is in green it means uh, all of these services are running on your computer and they are taking up um they are contributing to the speed of your computer and you need to disable them that's just pretty much the bottom line of what i'm trying to show you right here and of course you can save your settings you can restore services and all of that so i'm going to exit out of this or just minimize and so guys if you have a very 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 slow system or computer and you want to get it working faster i think um, so let's try now to open um um let's say photoshop and see how much time it takes for it to open okay okay
okay guys so i'm going to open a very heavy application and we'll see how much time it does take for for it to open and let's get started i'm going to open core draw click this one and let's start Okay, so 25 seconds took for a draw to, you know, to get up and uh, that is not so bad, okay, for a slow system computer as this and uh, let me show you my computer's configuration, okay. Uh, So let me show you my computer configuration. So right here I'm using um, um, an old computer with the um, a Core i5 actually with 2.5 you know gigahertz you know and then it's 8 gig inside. Uh, of course, I have a bunch of applications installed on this computer, and uh, the system that is uh, 64 bits, uh, and that is pretty much what is uh, my computer's configuration. And you can see that I took uh, a Corridor uh, version 2020, 2021 actually to boot. Uh, uh in uh, 25 seconds okay so let's um that's how pretty much how you get your computer to at least a speed to improve okay so thank you for watching and see you next time in another video bye bye